Okay, so the graph of a sine functions with phase shift and vertical shift. So these are the things to remember when graphing a sine function with phase shift and vertical shift. So the amplitude, it's the absolute value of A. For the period, that's 2 pi over B. For the scale, that's period over 4. Then for the phase shift, that's X minus C or X equals C. Then for the vertical shift, that's equal to D, and the graph starts at the V shift. So we have this given uh, Y equals 2 sine 2x plus pi over 3 minus 2. So from this given, A is equal to 2, and B is also equal to 2, then the D, that's negative 2. Then to solve for the amplitude, so the absolute value of A or the absolute value of 2, so therefore the amplitude is positive 2. Then for this uh, period, that's 2 pi over B, so B is 2, so therefore the period, that's 2 pi over 2, and that's equal to pi, so pi is just 1 period or 5 k points. Then for the scale, this period over 4, so period is pi, so we have pi over 4, so therefore the scale or the interval is pi over 4. Then to solve for this uh, phase shift, so that's uh, 2x plus pi over 3, then to solve for x, so transpose this pi over 3, so that becomes negative. Then to solve for x, divide by 2. So we have now x is equal to negative pi over 3. Then take the reciprocal of 2. That's 1 over 2. Then you multiply. So that's negative pi over 6. So the uh, phase shift now is equal to x equals negative pi over 6. Then the last one, the vertical shift, that's equal to D. Now D is negative 2, so the vertical shift, that's negative 2. Since negative, therefore, down 2. So to graph this equation using these values, the amplitude, the period, the scale, the phase shift, and the vertical shift. So start plotting the phase shift that's negative pi over 6. Then from the phase shift plus the period, that's pi. So negative pi over 6 plus pi. So we can rewrite this one pi as 6 pi over 6 to make the denominator equal so that we can easily add or subtract these two fractions. So we have negative pi plus 6, that's positive 5 pi over 6. So this is now the new period. And that's equal to 1 period or 5 k points. So since we already have uh, our first k point, so we still need to find 4 k points. Using this scale or interval, so we have now negative pi over 6 plus the interval. So negative pi over 6 plus pi over 4. So find the LCD is 12. So uh, 12 divided by 6, that's 2, times negative pi. This one is negative. 2 pi plus this 12 divided by 4, that's 3 times pi. This one is 3 pi. Then negative 2 pi plus 3 pi. So the second k point now is pi over 12. So this one is pi over 12. Then plus the interval. So plus uh, pi over 4. Now, since we can rewrite this pi over 4 with denominator equal to 12, 
that's 3 pi over 12. So again, this pi over 4 is equal to 3 pi over 12 just to make the denominator equal so that we can easily add or subtract the two fractions. So change this pi over 4 to 3 pi over 12. So therefore, the third k point now is 4 pi over 12. Then plus 3 pi over 12. That's 7 pi over 12. Then the last k point. So plus the interval. 10 pi over 12. So this is now the one period or 5k points. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But since 1 period is equal to 5 pi over 6, so we can reduce this 10 over 12 so divisible by 2. So 10 divided by 2, that's 5. And 12 divided by 2, that's 5 pi over 6. Now, since the first k point is negative and the second one is positive, therefore the y axis is between these two k points. Then, uh, since the vertical shift is negative 2, so therefore down to 4, the new x axis so this is now our new x axis so this is how to use this vertical shift then we also have this uh, amplitude that's positive 2 so therefore up to 1 2 for the maximum and down to for the minimum 1 2 and this is now the minimum height. So for a sine function, the graph starts at the phase shift. So this is now your first point. Since the given is positive, so therefore, the movement of the graph to the maximum, to the axis, to the minimum, and to the axis. So this is now the graph of y equals 2 sine 2x plus pi over 3 minus 2.